First, to make sure we have observations for each route and time of day combination, we can do a couple of things. I can click the La Jolla Village Drive category and immediately see that we have observations spread across different times of day equally. And same thing is going to be true for the Gilman Drive group. Since there's only two groups here, to the degree that one of them is equally spread across time of day, of course the other one will be. Our overall distribution for time to campus looks fairly reasonable. We have no extreme observations or any observations that should give us doubt about the integrity of the data. So at this point, I think we're okay to move forward and look a little more in detail at the way we're going to set up our factorial model. Now before, when we did analysis of variance, we used the Fit Y by X platform. And Fit Y by X is a great platform for one-way ANOVA, or ANOVA when we have a single factor. I want to show you what will happen if I fit time to campus on the basis of these two factors. That is, if I put both route and time of day in as the x factor. Jump won't fit a factorial analysis of variance. Instead, Jump will interpret this as I want two separate analyses on the basis of each of those x variables. In this case, I could go to the red triangle and select means ANOVA pooled t for each, but this will be simply a test of the overall effect of each of these factors, ignoring the other. Now this is illuminating to start, and these are tests in a sense that we're going to get from the factorial ANOVA. Our factorial ANOVA will have one additional test, the degree to which there is an interaction. But to start, let's look at what we found just looking at the one-way analysis of variance results. If we look overall by route, we can see that Gilman Drive was on average faster than La Jolla Village Drive. And on average, 9.30 was faster than 8 o'clock. These are the marginal or overall effects of each of these factors, ignoring the other. Notice that in the left hand side, we're really ignoring time of day. The observations for Gilman Drive here partially come from 8 a.m. and partially come from 9.30. So in this analysis, we're simply ignoring the time of day effect. On the right hand side, the observations at 8 o'clock partially come from Gilman Drive and partially come from La Jolla Village Drive. So again, this analysis on the right hand side is ignoring route. So these analyses are independent of each other. They're not taking into account what the other is doing. Whereas our factorial ANOVA will be looking at these analyses all at once. We'll actually explicitly be looking at the overall effects of each plus that combinatorial or interaction effect between the factors. Something very interesting to look at often when we're doing studies of our own. So let's fit our factorial analysis of variance. To do so, we're going to use a different platform, Analyze Fit Model. 